This video outlines the procedure to properly repair the aluminum microchannel heat exchanger coils manufactured by Delphi Thermal Systems. Delphi Thermal Systems, a leading manufacturer of aluminum microchannel heat exchangers, has developed a proven procedure and a specified kit to be used for field repairs. This is a long-term repair as opposed to other microchannel repair methods available in the marketplace today. This repair process is validated for durability. Repaired coils pass original validation requirements, including burst, pressure cycle, and corrosion tests. There is little to no effect on heat transfer performance of a repaired coil. Typically, only a few tube ports out of approximately 2,000 to 5,000 ports per coil are inoperable due to the repair. Materials and tools included in the kit are a stainless steel bristle brush, zinc aluminum flux core braze wire, a stainless steel heat shield, Loctite 430 instant adhesive, and a replacement air fin section. Additional materials and tools that may be required include needle nose pliers, a soapy water mixture, map gas or oxyacetylene torch, utility scissors, and Krylon industrial rust tough paint. The first step in the aluminum microchannel heat exchanger repair procedure is to locate the damaged area and verify that there's actually a leak using industry standard practices. Please note, the tube construction is capable of withstanding a hard impact as long as the impact is not sharp and does not cut the tube. Next, it may be necessary to remove some of the air fin to gain access to the damaged area. Using needle nose pliers, remove the fins above and below the tube needing repair. The fins to be removed should be approximately 25 millimeters either side of the repair location. Please note, the fin can be removed by grabbing the fin with the long nose pliers and slowly tearing the fin away from the tube. However, please use caution when working with sharp objects around the refrigerant tubes. Remove all foreign debris around the damaged area with a small stainless steel bristle brush. Use care to avoid contaminating the damaged area. Thoroughly clean the area with a mild soap such as a dish liquid and water mixture. Next, rinse the area with clean water. Using a MAP or oxyacetylene gas torch, very carefully evaporate the water. Repeat the washing procedure, attempting to flood the refrigerant ports with soapy water. Rinse with clean water and again dry the area with the torch. The torch should eliminate all moisture and contaminates but a steady state vacuum can be pulled on the system after the repair to ensure no moisture remains in the system. Place a metal heat shield around the damaged area to protect adjacent tubes and air fins. If the coil must be repaired at an angle or in a vertical orientation, create a heat shield with tabs that will extend into the fins of the coil. Mount the heat shield onto the coil using the tabs to hold it in place. Adjust the torch tip to a neutral or rich carburizing flame and apply heat to the edge of the damaged area. Place the end of the braze wire against the damaged area and gradually heat the edge of the tube until the material wicks into the tube ports. The coil tube walls are very thin and it is possible to burn through the tube wall if excessive heat is applied. Finally, allow the area to cool and remove the heat shield. When attempting to effect a repair on the flat surface of the tube, extra care must be exercised in order to avoid overheating and burning through the surrounding tube surface and or heat damaging the adjacent tubes and fins. If a tube surface repair is to be attempted, the perforation site must be able to be clearly visible following the removal of the fins. If the perforation is not visible, the likelihood of a successful repair is significantly reduced. Also, more adjacent fin length may need to be removed to provide adequate access to the repair site. The soapy water cleaning procedure, 
must be completed in order to allow for the greatest chance of success. Next, a custom metal heat shield will need to be fabricated and placed over the adjacent tube and fins above and or below the repair site, as well as around the perforation site to protect the adjacent tubes, air fins, and adjoining tube surface. In addition to the heat shielding, a very fine torch tip will be required in order to access the tube surface inboard from the edge without burning through adjacent areas. Using tin snips or shears, cut a portion of replacement air fin equal to the length previously removed. Apply the instant adhesive to the replaced air fin to hold it in place. Lastly, paint the repaired area to protect against corrosion. The system may now be charged with refrigerant and operated normally. A Delphi aluminum microchannel heat exchanger coil, repaired in this manner, will continue to deliver years of reliable performance.